Think about living with your 72-year-old father. Expect this. Those are his filthy pants on my dining room table. I'd like to say thank you for my free Cafe Mocha Panera. Actually, Rick's the one that goes there like nine times a week. He gets all this free stuff, so I reap the benefits for him going. Mm. We're at the dump. See? Oh, you see. Yeah, getting rid of a ton of cardboard. So, on time. This is this is what I do on random weekdays. I go to the dump. Don't know, but where to get it. Does your dad not listen to you? I already know that. My dad's here, and <laughs> he just talks over me like I'm not even here. But, um, Rick's getting good father-son time, father-in-law, son-in-law time, I don't know what you call it. They're off. I sent my father off to go look at something in the other room with him so I could share my story with you. I don't know. I, I don't I mean, you know, I, I'm, I think I'm probably the exception to a lot of rules because I'm only 30. Oh, did that just come out? Oh my god. Anyway, well, I'm 30 and my dad's 72. And most people who are 30, their dads aren't 72. That's... It, my my demographic is very low. But, uh... You know, I, I'm trying to remember even what he was like 10 years ago. Was he the same? I don't know. I'm just wondering if other people have this problem with their dads. Ties are crazy! <sighs> Need I say more? Song of the day is Elvis's one night because I heard it today and it is stuck in my head. And no, oh, there's no songs about dads annoying the living daylights out of you. Maybe I should write one. That'd definitely be a country song. There might be one. Hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna get on that. I'm gonna need some good lyrics. So I'm gonna need more of this. Peace out.